In this video, we're going to talk about what an f prime of x graph tells you about the original graph f of x. So first, let's summarize all the key points of information. First, we know that f of x is increasing when f prime of x is positive. And then conversely, we know that f of x is decreasing when f prime of x is negative. Then a common question asked is about where there is a relative max or relative minimum. And there's a relative minimum on the graph of f of x when f prime changes from positive to negative and vice versa for a relative minimum. Then finally, a point of inflection is where f double prime will equal zero or undefined and also f double prime has to change signs. And then we know that f of x is concave up when the second derivative is positive and concave down when the second derivative is negative. Let's take a look at an example. So here we have a graph of f prime of x. So first, we know that f of x is increasing on the interval from three to, let me move this, eight, because you can see here on the graph of f prime, that's where f prime of x is positive. Next, we know that f of x is decreasing from negative nine all the way to three, and then also over here from eight to nine, because that is where f prime of x, this f prime of x graph, is negative. Now, in some textbooks, they use greater than or equal to or less than or equal to, and sometimes you may see brackets. So this is kind of something that's up for debate. Sometimes you'll see brackets and sometimes you'll see parentheses. Next, I know that f of x has a relative maximum right here at x equals eight, because we can see the f prime of x graph changes from positive to negative, and then a relative minimum at x equals three, because our f prime of x graph changes from negative to positive. Now let's say our graph kind of came down here and just touched at eight and bounced back up. We would not have a relative maximum nor a relative minimum, because if it just bounced, f prime did not change signs. f prime has to change signs to be relative extrema. And then finally, we know that there is a point of inflection on the f of x graph at x equals negative seven, negative three, five, and that's all, because that's where f prime of x, sorry, f double prime of x equals zero and f double prime changes signs. Again, f double prime has to change signs, and we know that because the slope is changing from positive to negative, or f double prime is changing from positive to negative. And then we know that f of x is concave up from negative nine to negative seven, and negative three to five, because that's where f double prime, or the derivative of the f prime graph is positive. And then finally, we know f of x is concave down from negative seven to negative three, and five to nine, because that's where f double prime, or the derivative of f prime is negative, which means that's where the f prime graph is decreasing. All right, I hope you found this video useful to help you determine what the f prime of x graph tells you about f of x. If you did, make sure to click subscribe so that you're notified when new videos come out to help you in your calculus classes.